What is going on guys? Bang Ligeti here coming back at you with another video today. Double uploading because there has been a new development in the NFL. Uh, not sure what time this video is going to go out, but hopefully it's uh, still relevant information to you by the time you're watching it. And I know many of you are asking for my opinion on this. So I figured may as well uh, fire up the camera, get the recording. And uh, here we go. Josh Gordon has been traded to the New England Patriots for a conditional fifth round pick. The condition on that pick is Josh Gordon has to play in at least 10 games this season. Otherwise, the Browns get nothing back for the trade. That's pretty much the way a conditional pick goes. And I'll start off with initially, you know, huge upside. I like to grade it for both teams. Um, for the Browns, I don't necessarily mind it because if you're already convinced that you don't want a player on your team, you're already going to cut him. If you guys saw my last video, the Browns announced they were going to release him on Monday and they started fielding trade offers. So that, you know, video is kind of null and void at this point because obviously Josh Gordon has not been released. He has been traded. The Browns would have released him though. So any value you could have gotten for this is probably good. And a conditional fifth, I mean, you're probably not going to find a ton of value in the fifth round, but you know, there's always that chance that you do get an impact player. It's happened. I mean, we've seen Tom Brady in the sixth. I mean, there are players that are drafted later that can come in and make a huge impact, but it's a little few and far between. The Browns were just trying to get any value they could for Josh Gordon as they decided he's not going to be with the future of the Cleveland Browns. And that's fine. I really don't have an issue with that. From the Browns standpoint, it's fine. Whatever. From the Patriots standpoint, this is an excellent trade. And I do find it a little bit funny that this is the same Patriots-Browns combo where the Patriots pretty much refuse to talk to the Browns about Jimmy Garoppolo at all. They're just like, yeah, we're just not trading him to you. It doesn't matter what you offer. The Browns are not getting Jimmy Garoppolo. And so it's funny that now the Browns would trade arguably their best player to the New England Patriots. And I know what you're thinking. Arguably the best player. He doesn't play. He hasn't been on the field in, in years, really. I mean, I, I know a few games here and there, but... At the end of the day, Josh Gordon, when healthy, is a top 10 caliber receiver. And I know I wouldn't have my top 10 right now. I'm sure many of you would not. He's not a top 10 receiver right now because he hasn't been on the field. He did come back last year. He looked pretty good in the games that he played. And he only had one catch in week one. So it's a little bit hard to determine, you know, where he is right now. But this is a receiver that had almost 1,700 yards receiving in 2013. Incredible talent. And that's with Brandon Whedon and, what, Brian Hoyer throwing him the ball. The talent of Josh Gordon is not a question, and I'm sure it's not a question. He looked very sharp last year when he came back, uh, especially against the Steelers, if any of you guys saw that game where Josh Gordon uh, performed pretty well in limited uh, snaps and targets. So I think he's still got it. I think he's still got it. As long as he manages to stay clean, and that's the big if, it's going to be, a, you know, a home run for the Pats because what's the worst case scenario for the Patriots here? You lose a fifth round pick. Worst case scenario, maybe he's not good and you cut him and you lose essentially nothing. I mean, this is a win-win for the Patriots because if he doesn't play, you don't give up anything really at all. If he does play and he's good, you have an arguably you know, you know, top receiver in the NFL, and this takes a lot of heat off Gronk. You don't have to rely so much on Chris Hogan. And then when Julian Edelman comes back, you've got a really, really potent offensive attack with Josh Gordon, Rob Gronkowski, Chris Hogan, Julian Edelman, and not to mention the running back situation that they have going on. You spent a first-round pick on Sony Michelle out of Georgia. They could have a really, really high-powered offense. And this is the same offense that's run by Josh McDaniels and Bill Belichick. This is an offense that, granted, stalled last week against the Jaguars, one of the best defenses in the NFL. I'm fine with that. I mean, you're giving up no value for what could be immeasurable return. So from the Patriots' standpoint, this is an absolutely phenomenal trade because there is really no downside to doing it. You're not giving up anything. Even if, even if he's okay and he does start the 10 games for the conditional pick, you lose a fifth. Who cares? It's a fifth-round pick at the end of the day. Um, and I know, again, we talked, there can be value there, but there usually isn't. That's just kind of what it you know happens. The Patriots, granted, are fantastic at turning those late-round players into you know star-studded players. You look at 
Tom Brady, Jamie Collins. There are, you know, even maybe Juwan Bentley this year. There are some players that are really, really solid that the Patriots uh, turn into playmakers out of nothing. So if anyone could do it, it's them. But I think Josh Gordon more than is worth a fifth-round pick. And for the Browns, I mean, you're going to get rid of him anyway. So, you know, why bother holding on to him just for the sake of holding on to him? We saw the Patriots offense last week stall. And this is a team that can go toe-to-toe with the Jaguars. We did see that last year. The Patriots managed to pull out the win. But now with Josh Gordon, I feel like the Patriots won't be as pressed to go to Gronk every play. And you still can because he's that much of a beast. But you can spread it to Josh Gordon. I mean, their offense just could be unbelievable. But you got the Tom Brady to Josh Gordon connection could be phenomenal. If Josh Gordon can do what he did in 2013, and granted that is like five years ago at this point, but if he can do that with Brian Hoyer and Brandon Whedon, imagine what he can do with arguably the greatest quarterback in NFL history in Tom Brady. The implications are incredible. There are only only positives here for the Patriots. There are no negatives. For the Browns, you're going to cut him anyway. You might as well get some type of value. And I think it's just funny that they traded him to a team that didn't want to do anything regarding Jimmy G uh, a year ago when that trade happened. So that is pretty funny. But we'll see what happens for the Browns receiving room now. Jarvis Landry is obviously the leader there. If you guys saw Hard Knocks at all, you know Jarvis Landry owns the receiver room more maybe than the uh, receiving coaches down there. But overall, you're going to have to have players step up. It's going to be Antonio Callaway. He played very, very well against the Saints last week despite the loss. Jarvis Landry, we know that he's a pretty decent player. And then outside of that, I mean, maybe Rashard Higgins. I don't really think too much of him. But... I mean, you have some playmakers there. Antonio Callaway, I think, is a very, very talented player. You guys know me. If you saw any of my prospect breakdowns and uh, my prospect rankings, Antonio Callaway was my wide receiver number two coming to the draft, even with the concerns. And he probably would have been wide receiver one if he was clean. But he's a great player. Jarvis Landry, he sets it up. David Joku. The Browns offense can certainly survive. They just got to get more points on the board. Josh Gordon wasn't really going to help him too much anyway uh, if he's not on the field. So hopefully Josh Gordon didn't relapse in anything. Hopefully he's going to stay clean, stay healthy, stay on the field. Because, I mean, I think I can speak on behalf of almost everybody, except for Browns fans, if Josh Gordon turns into a stud in New England. I mean, it's fun to watch the best players in the league play well, play up to that level. But let me know what you think down in the comments section below. I think this is probably a win-win for both teams either way. Josh Gordon could be a superstar with Tom Brady and the Patriots if he can stay on the field. Uh, if not, they're not giving up too much. And yeah, it's a, just another sad waste of talent like we've seen probably with Martavis Bryant and Justin Blackman. It is unfortunate, but I guess, hey, man, these receivers can't stay off uh, Los drog- Drogas. I don't know. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below, and that's going to do it for me, guys. Take it easy.